Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damari. In this video, we are going to learn about variables in Azure Data Factory and especially about Boolean variable. So Boolean variable is a variable that can save two values, true or false. And as these type of values are, are actually variables are available in different uh, uh, languages. They are available in uh, your uh, different ETL tools such as SSIS as well. So then after that, what we are going to do, we are going to perform a demo how to control flow the activities are dynamically by using some uh, boolean variable and uh, we will be reading the data from the azure sql table uh, passing the value to the variable saving it and then making some decisions uh, either we should run some activities or not uh, so this is going to be interesting a uh, scenario so let's go to the azure data factory and take a look uh, here uh, if i go to the author i can go ahead and create a new pipeline and in the pipeline uh, this is my pipeline i'm going to call it uh, pl boolean uh, execution or whatever okay so we call give this name to this pipeline and here we have a variable so uh, variables are temporary placeholders so you can uh, change the value while you are executing you can set their values you can append the values and all that and you will be keep using during the pipeline execution so you can reset the value multiple time if you need it now let's go ahead and create a new one you're going to click on a new button and then you're going to provide the name so in my case so let's say if i will say um, execute okay that's the name I'm giving now uh, and I can call it v execute so just uh, you know from the name you can tell it's a variable and the default value uh, you have a uh, here there are different types uh, we have string we have boolean we have array so today we are going to talk about only boolean because we with the scenario I'm gonna explain it's gonna take some time so let's uh, go to the boolean and uh, here we can provide two values we can either provide true or either we can go ahead and say false now this variable uh, uh, is good to go and uh, let's uh, keep it false for now and now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to bring uh, if condition so uh, we are going to use this variable now in the if condition what you're going to do you're going to click right there and go to activities in the activities you're going to write the expression so click on expression add dynamic content so here i'm going to go ahead and use the value v v execute so that's my variable value how you will use the value of a variable you will always say at the rate variables then small parentheses and single quotes and then the name of the variable that's how you're going to use the variables so hit okay here now what we will do we will go back uh, and uh, just work on it so uh, what we did if the value is going to be true what's going to happen uh, then uh, this part is going to be executed if the value is going to be false so uh, this part is going to be executed so click on uh, true part and here i'm going to use the uh, wait uh, activity so this is just for testing purpose you might be uh, running a store procedure you might be running a pipeline inside so you know depends from, on, upon your scenario so I'm going to say wait for true, okay? So this is activity that uh, we know that is going to be wait on true. Let's go back here, go to the false. And now in the false, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the wait activity again. And I'm going to say wait for false value. Okay, so that's how we would know that which part is uh, executing. Now let's the debug. And first of all, let's go... Anytime you're anywhere, click right here. Let's say you are not seeing the variables. So that's one of the things. You always have to click on the canvas. And once you click on canvas right here on the white page, then they will show up. So if you see the variable right now, we execute it is set to false. So if I run this pipeline, it's going to run this part, the false part of it, because that's the value we have right now in this variable. Okay, it has completed. And you can see that in the if condition, it executed the wait part for the false value because the variable value was set to false. Let's set it to true and see if now our true part will execute. Okay, so see right there, it's running and it is running the activity that is the wait for the true. So now it's completed successfully. So we understand that we can save the value true or false in our variable and then use that to uh, maybe if in the if condition we can use in multiple places now what i'm going to do here i am going to actually expand this uh, or uh, uh, improve this uh, pipeline and say that uh, i need to get the value of this variable from a database so i'm going to go to a database and i have created a table and i'm going to call this table uh, control execution Okay, so that's a table I'm saying, uh, given the name, 
And then uh, I am saying that is the uh, ID integer, okay, pipeline name, and then, uh, you know, you have a run or not run. So that's where we are passing the value. So see, it is a bit type. So I can add actually multiple values here. Let's say in this case, if I will go ahead and create this table, it's already actually created so I can drop the table. So let me drop the table. And then I can, you know, create the table. And what we have, we can put our pipeline names here. In my case, this is the pipeline, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy. So these are manual entries you will be putting for each of the pipeline if you are using this logic there. So if you go ahead and insert right there. So what happened now in this table, you have this record. So it has ID, it has pipeline name, and it has this run or not run. So this value I wanna take and use in my pipeline. So I wanna control the flow of this if else statement execution depending upon that value. Okay, so first of all, what I will do, uh, here uh, is my pipeline, I'm gonna copy this. So I'm going to get that value, right? So just paste it there, and here I'm gonna use the select query. Now, uh, you could I uh, you could have multiple, uh, you know, entries in this table, and uh, then you can uh, set the flow for your different pipelines, right? And here, I'm all good, I'm gonna copy this guy, and remember that I have a bit type here, and I put the value true, so it is returning me one. So that uh, our data factory does understand that. Let's go back to the Azure data factory. Here I have to get the values, right? So I'm gonna use a lookup here, and uh, in the lookup, uh, I'm going to bring the lookup, and I have to make the connection to the um, our database. So go to settings, new data set, and Azure SQL database here. Now create a new linked service, and here I'm gonna use my subscription, my server name, my database name, tech process the database, and a TB user, and uh, then I'm gonna provide the password. Okay, so let's call this one LNK link TBDB. <laughs> that, that's funny, TBDB. Okay, that's fine, but we can go with that and uh, say test connection successful. Next time I'm gonna do that actually TBDB. That's, that's funny and it looks good and easy to remember. Okay, so now we are not providing any table name or anything like here. We are gonna hit okay. And we are gonna go to the query and I'm gonna paste that query that I prepared. And if you guys remember that it is a returning a run or not run value, right? For it's a single value. So I'm gonna go with the further down and say, okay, first row only is fine because I don't have multiple rows. I have only one row. And I'm gonna just copy this part because that's my column name, okay? So now this uh, lookup is gonna return me that value. And now how I'm, what I'm gonna do, I am going to set the variable value that I have created. So see, we execute, that's the variable I have created. It's a Boolean type. So now once lookup is returning me that value, I need to set in the variable because in the, I can go back to the table and change the flow. So I don't have to come back to my pipeline ever, you know. So I'm gonna click here, and in the set variables, you're gonna go to variable. Here, you're gonna select the variable for which you would like to change the value. So we execute, and we want to get the value from lookup. So we are gonna add dynamic content, and here is my v lookup. sorry, lookup. So right there, lookup.output.first row dot so that's how your expressions are gonna be, okay? So your lookup come here, then we know that we are only extracting a single row, and that's our first row, and then we need to get this value from there, okay? So that's how your lookup does look. Okay, let's go back here, and now we hit okay. Now, connect this guy to this, okay? We are all good here. Now, as of now, you guys can see that the value in the table is set to true, and it's gonna run the true part of the pipeline. So let's debug. Okay, that's the completing slowly. And the lookup, let's go to lookup and see right there. So we have this select query that we are running. And then let's see the output is saying run or not run, true. That's what it returned and first row. So that's what we have used in the set variable expressions as well. Okay, so true or not true, yes, true. So it returned it. Now, once the value is set to the variable, so see the value is set to true, 
now it is gone to the if condition and then finally to execute the part wait for true part okay so it is running that branch now that's all awesome but see if i change my mind and i have a lot like i want to don't want to run the true part i want to run the uh, just the false part so i will go ahead and update my run or not run i have only one record so i'm run, going to update the uh, value otherwise i will say where pipeline name is equal to this and this you know so now you see that here if i go back here and uh, now run or not run is zero okay so i can uh, return that value so what's going to happen here now let's debug and the lookup is going to get that value so it's going to get a false from the table and then it's going to set that false value to the v execute variable and now when it go to the if condition it's going to execute this a false part of our uh, if uh, condition so it should run wait for false value okay so we should be all good let's can so okay go to the debug okay it looks good let's go to look up and now you see that there's our select query that executed on the database it should get us some value and in this case it got us a false value because our query is returning false so you see right there zero so that's what we got and now in the pipeline we see that we have false right there now this value is passed to the set variable and if you see right there v execute is set to false okay great now in here in the if condition now then as we have written use the is v execute variable that's our boolean type and we have told if the condition is true run the true part otherwise run the false part so you see right there wait for false value so that's what it got executed so i hope you learn how to use the boolean type variable in your pipelines and how to even control the flow of your activities without changing your pipelines and making use of lookups and set variables and uh, if conditions are. thank you very much for watching please go ahead and subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort and i will see you guys in the next video